Welcome back in. Great to have you with us here on WKYT. Do you shop at your local farmer's market? If not, it's a great way to support area farmers and get your hands on some delicious produce. So you're Always missing out if you're not doing it. Love the opportunity. <laughs> We're joined by Sharon Spencer, Farmer's Market Marketing Specialist. <laughs> and we do thank you very much for coming in. Thank great you. to have you here thank, today. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a great time to get to talk about Kentucky Proud and my Kentucky producers. Yeah, some of the harvest is coming in. Uh, how many farmers markets are there across the Commonwealth? Believe it or not, we've got 160 farmers markets. Um, wow. Of course, Kentucky's got 120 counties. Yeah. Right now, we've got 106 counties. And Commissioner Quarles and I have decided that we're going to try and have a farmers market in every county before the season's over, or at least hopefully by next year. Um, so we're doing pretty good at that. We've got two new markets that's going to be opening up probably in the next couple of weeks in Webster County and Greene County. That's going to be two of our new counties. So really excited about having a new market. What are some of the advantages to being registered with the Department of Agriculture and, and being in this circle? We do require all of the farmers markets here in the state of Kentucky to register with our office. First of all, that makes them Kentucky proud. Mm -hmm. um, so they can take some, they can take advantage of some funding opportunities that we have. Plus, also, anybody that is a producer that's wanting to take that next step further from raw products, they can do home-based processing or microprocessing. That's a opportunity for them to sell that at a farmer's market. And also, they can participate in um, USDA food nutritional programs. So we have a WIC program, we have senior vouchers, and also the SNAP program, which is known as food stamps, taken at farmer's markets, which is a great opportunity for folks. Let's talk about the benefits uh -huh. of buying local and going to the farmer's market. First of all, a lot of people just enjoy the social atmosphere, kind of catching up with their friends and neighbors when they go to the farmer's market for those visits. But that food, is very good, isn't it? The food is very fresh. It's very healthy. It's not sitting on a truck. And so you know that it hasn't traveled very far from the market. You also know, too, when you're coming to the farmer's market, you're actually getting to see the face. You can put the face on the grower um, and put the face on your food. And you can actually talk to the producer. They're very upfront and honest with you of how they raise, how they grow the products. A lot of people will say, we're concerned about the products because are they healthy for you? You know, what kind of chemicals do they use? Those producers that actually grow that food, they're growing that for their own family, too. That's what's going on their dinner table. So they're going to take us most, you know, the cautious and, yeah. and the um, safest route possible. Well, so. And we're running out of time, but you oh. also have great uh, recipes always that we people do have can find there. Kentucky yeah. Crab so. plated up. It's a great